While entertaining guests at a backyard cookout at their Charleston home, Chavalo and Monique wilson Briano came up with a mix of low country herbs and spices that make hamburgers juicy and tasty. Their family and friends love their marinated burger so much they turned it into a business. Charleston Gourmet Burger products have hit the shelves of Walmart, Whole Foods, Costco, Amazon, and others. They've appeared on Food Network and became regular national TV guests on QVC. And today they're helping chefs, home cooks, caterers, and bakers transform their lives by getting the recipes prepared for grocery store shelves. Chavalo and Monique are joining me now to talk about their journey and the recipes that inspired it all. Welcome guys. Thank you for having us. Of course, Thank you. of course. Chavalo, first of all, you were on our first ever episode of Palmetto Life. Yes. Um, talking about your 9-11 story. Um, it was such an honor to have you on the show and I'm so glad to have Aww. you back. Thank you. Happy to be back. Yes. Funny. Our 9-11 journey kind of led into the, our business. I know. Yeah. So I want to hear about how all of this started for you guys. Mm -hmm. So for Shavala and I, it just kind of makes sense for us to have a business that has to do with burgers because our first date was at McDonald's. <laughs> it's something yeah. that we just love. I love that. We just love burgers. That yeah. it was one of the things we had in common. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, as we dated, we'd go to different burger joints to, and realize that the burgers that were best were burgers that were juicy and burgers that were tasty. Mm. And so we decided to, when we moved to Charleston, to have a cookout at our home yes. down here in Charleston. Mm -hmm. yes. And we invited all these guests and we just went to the farmer's market in Charleston and got like the natural herbs and mm -hmm. spices from this area that are like robust and flavorful. And we just had this concept to mix it into the meat before we cook it. Mm -hmm. That way every bite has a lot of flavor. Yeah. But we didn't get a chance to test it. But our family and friends, they just, we got this feedback. They loved it so much that Monique came up with this idea. I just said, we should sell these. And you know, I was I was kind of joking, but I was kind of serious. Cause I was like, <laughs> maybe we could have something here. And so we decided on our, our next, we would do another barbecue. And we had people calling saying, are you making those burgers again? Cause if so, I'm coming. And so we went and bought like restaurant containers and we were like making, burgers to go for people wow. for our party. And so I said to Shivalo, I think we should try this. You know, we'll mm -hmm. try it for six months. If it doesn't work, we had a good life. We'll just mm -hmm. go back to how our life is now. So for us, we had nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. So no fear. Mm -hmm. And we haven't looked back since. That six months has now been over a decade. <laughs> By the yes. way, I'm coming over because I want to. Uh, let's go. You are invited <laughs> to the next barbecue. Let's yeah, go. all right. this magical <laughs> cooking. So this started in 2012, and you're here now. Let's talk about some of the things that have happened since you started. Yes. You guys are in grocery stores all over. Yes, and so uh, well, what happened? We really got our start at the Charleston Farmers Market here, and yes. um, you know. Post and Courier, you know, people started blogging about us, the college kids, they would line up at the market for us before we even started. They were there waiting to get our burgers. Who eats burgers crazy. for breakfast? We didn't know I that. I mean, college yes. kids, honestly. <laughs> yes, and um, then uh, the Food Network heard about us, put us on a show, and that really put us on um, a national stage. And then from there, the Today Show, and you know, we just had national press from mm -hmm. all over. But here's the thing, people would come to the Charleston Farmers Market, but they would, it's such a worldwide place. The Charleston yeah. Farmers, but they'd go back to Albuquerque, they'd go back mm -hmm. to Colorado, they'd go back to Chicago, and Monique and I had to figure out a way for them to enjoy the burgers, because mm -hmm. they'd say, hey, we had this great burger. So it's funny, because I had this original idea, we're just gonna make a whole bunch of the burgers, we're gonna put it in the freezer, then we're going to ship it by FedEx mm -hmm. to people in other states. And I was like, we'll kill people, we cannot do that. You cannot <laughs> ship meat through the mail. And so I said, listen, people are in love with the way our hamburgers taste. That's right. So we're gonna bottle the seasoning, that mixture, the marinade, what makes them taste good, mm -hmm that's gonna be the product and we can ship it all over the world. They can get their meat wherever they are. And so mm -hmm. the red bottle, the marinade, that became yeah. our first product, our burger marinade. Wow. And it makes burgers juicy, tasty, turns an ordinary burger into something extraordinary. Yes. So this is the secret to the perfect burger. That's the secret yes, right there. Exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly, that's the yes. secret. And that's the thing. We just feel a burger should be able to live on its own. Yes. And not, you don't, you shouldn't have to add a whole bunch of 
piles of condiments on top of it to have it juicy and tasty. So with the burger marinade, you just mix it in the meat before you cook mm -hmm. it, and we have a sauce that's thick. It just goes on you top. Need a sauce, right? Need a sauce. And by the way, this is uh, inspired by Tyler Florence. Um, he's yeah. the one that said when we did the Food Network, you guys really should make a burger sauce, and it's inspired by the marinade because he loved the way the marinade tasted. Yeah. But he's like, I want to, I want to put my fries oh, yeah. in this. So our sauce is inspired by Tyler Florence. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and now you guys have kind of shifted over and you're thinking about other people. Yes. And you're mm -hmm. using your success to help others. Talk to me about that. Yes. yes. Well, as we uh, came up, uh, as we kept going with our business, people would like write us and they'd say, listen, I have a recipe I'd love to get on the shelves. How do you do it? And when we'd be de uh, like doing demos at Costco or Sam's Club, people would come up and say, hey, I have this apple pie or I have this mm -hmm. recipe from my family. I've always wanted to market. And so we realized there was a void of that. So we came up with this idea called Recipe for Retail. Yes, and so it's designed to take you from idea or you know that favorite dish all the way through the process so we you know we teach you about packaging you know the manufacturing process mm -hmm. any kind of certification insurance and so when you're finished with our program you will have a finished product just like this wow. uh, we take all the guesswork out and then we help you get into retail so then we help you get matched up with the retailer that you want to go in mm -hmm. um, get you press media so we our program is the entire process yes. so it's literally a one-stop shop I'm sure it must be so rewarding <laughs> and kind of surreal that you guys started this and it's become, you know, so big that you're now helping others achieve that same dream. I tell yeah. you, the feeling we get when one of our students, you know, <laughs> finally get their product produced and especially when they get it on the shelves, yeah. it's amazing. We have so many success stories that yeah. anyone could go to a recipe for retail and, yeah. and see. I mean, we've had 16,000 people sign wow. up for our master classes yeah. on there. And so we, we help everybody. We have a free Facebook group. Uh, we have a YouTube channel yeah. for free. And then we have a paid VIP accelerator mm -hmm. where yes. we really fast track people who really want to get going. Yes, it's yeah. a streamlined process. We had a <laughs> student yesterday for the first time, her, she watched her potato salad go through the register at a grocery store. And then we had our, some of our other students that lived in the area, they surprised her and met her at the store so that they could all do it together. So just I building that. that community mm -hmm. is just yes. so special for I'm us. sure. And I know there's a lot of good cooks at home. Um, so if anybody at home is watching, how can they get involved with you guys and get help with this as well? Yes, so we're Recipe for Retail on all social media outlets, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. And it's Recipe for F-O-R Retail. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Social Hello, Monique. We're so happy that you guys are here. We're so proud of all of your success. Um, the Low Country is rooting for you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much.